I, I want to jump back over to the haul trucks too. So can you jump into like what you're seeing people do with that for the electrification as well to basically meet the, the low emissions? Is there like specific things people are setting up for these haul trucks? Yeah, well, the nice thing really about the sort of the Komatsu electric drive platform is, is the truck itself is already electrified. Right. So it runs an electric drive system. Uh, conventional is diesel engine driving an onboard alternator, mm -hmm. um, which ultimately drives the wheel motors. So, and that's really a, a platform. I'm kind of talking about history, like Bryce did. You know, mm -hmm. looking way back at the the hall pack name that started in the '50s and going through you know different iterations, um, dresser right up to recent day Komatsu. Um, it's really that same sort of idea. So once we start looking at trolley, it's really quite an easy switch over because really once we bring that power on board the truck. The truck's already designed to manage that power. You just you mentioned trolley, so just just in yeah. case somebody it, just just unpack that a little bit more too, please. Yeah, sure. So yeah, trolley assist in its really basic form is just like we see with a, a trolley bus or a trolley train. Right. It's really the ability to run underneath an overhead uh, power line. Um, use in this case DC overhead power lines. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, pantograph is located on the front of the truck, so two pantographs. Uh, that brings the power on board the truck. Right. And then from there, we're able to manage that power through the drive system and then out to the wheel motors. And it's not a little bit of power. It's quite substantial. Um, you know, when we look at um, sort of our 300 ton, you know, 930 class truck, that truck will consume four megawatts of power while it's under the, the trolley line at full load. Oh, really? So, yeah, these very, very high power. You start looking at multiple trucks on the line, you end up with some pretty, pretty uh, well-designed sort of DC substations. So on the, the incoming power side, really how that works is you have your, your grid power or other power available to you. It, you bring that into basically an electrical house. That power is then transformed from AC down to DC. And then that DC power is what's fed out onto the, they call it the catenary line. And are you seeing with that, because it, it it's not an old way of doing it, but you, you see these buses running on, on, on those wires. So essentially you're doing that with those haul yep. trucks. Are you seeing a lot more clients now looking at those opportunities if they have power options? Absolutely, yeah. It's um, really over sort of the, the last couple of years is really where we're seeing this emergence, this discussion around it. Uh, we had uh, one customer in BC that recently commissioned uh, their trolley system. And I think that kind of caught the attention of a, a lot of other miners right around about, you know, it is feasible, someone's doing it, we should go look at it. Is this right for us? Will this be applicable to our situation? And we're seeing, uh, yeah, in the sort of the, the broader mining market, a lot of interest, a lot of customers that have kind of even started going down this road on the feasibility side and, and working through it. So I expect that you'll see uh, a lot more trolley in Canada in the, the next basically coming years here. 